Hey Team FXG, today's analysis is on Euro USD starting on the monthly as usual. Okay, we identified our monthly upper and monthly lower zones. Now it's time to talk flow. So here we see a strong push to the upside because price broke its monthly upper zone to the upside. Strong area sensitivity making this a push. What's after a push to the upside? That's right, an exhaustion to the downside. So after an exhaustion to the downside, the highest probability play is then a continuational push to the upside, meaning we need to see the buy sensitivity at area sensitivity, but we did not see buyers enter the market. Instead, we saw sellers overwhelm buyers, push price to break and close beneath its monthly upper zone to the downside, and now we're seeing continuational sell pressure at every contact of our monthly upper zone. Onto the weekly time frame. when you take it out, we see buy and sell sensitivity, so we identified our weekly upper and our weekly lower zones. Here we identified a downtrend with lower highs. So what do we know? That's super important. Price didn't continue on for a higher time frame continuational push to the downside. We have already established that by looking at the higher time frame. What we know is that sellers overwhelm buyers and pushing and breaking below this monthly upper zone is a really big deal. That tells us that buyers, or sorry, sellers, really want price to go down. So what this tells me is that I'm not looking for any trades to the upside. That's out of the question. I'm only looking for entries to the downside. So we see this downtrend. We see a strong bullish engulfing candle close, breaking this downtrend to the upside. A lot of new traders would probably enter along at this position. Now, we don't. Why? Because we know that this is our monthly upper zone. We know that there's sell sensitivity. So this wouldn't be a proper and high probability entry to the upside. So we stay patient. We identified our weekly upper. We identified our weekly lower. What do we do? What's the highest probability entry to the downside? That's right. We stay patient. We wait for price to break this weekly upper zone to the downside, which is its next area of buy sensitivity telling us that sellers are continuously entering the market for that push to the downside. So our entry is going to look like this. We let price play above its weekly upper zone as long as it wants. But once it decides to break this weekly upper zone to the downside, that's going to be considered a push because this is a strong area of sensitivity. What's after a push to the downside? That's right, an exhaustion to the upside. We wait for price action confirmation before placing an entry short. Now, what would make this trade invalid? Well, if price fails to break this weekly upper zone to the downside, we know that there's a lot of buy pressure in the market, so this trade becomes invalid. Price must break this weekly upper zone to the downside for this entry to even be considered. Lastly, the next scenario that would make this trade invalid is if we see that break to the downside and then price comes back for exhaustion, but does not see the sell pressure needs and actually continues to the upside. That would make this a stop hunt this trade becomes invalid. We need to see price action confirmation to the downside, preferably a significant bearish engulfing candle close. Thanks team. Have a great day.